Okay, good evening, people. Hi, how are you? How are you again? You're here with another class, the first class of this week. How exciting is this? Okay, excellent. We have now Sandra Carolina. Um, let's see. We have Ivania and we have Jancy. How are you? ¿Cómo están? Emocionados, bien. How are you today? See? ¿Sí? Bien, excited. Are you tired, maybe? Quizás están cansados de hoy. Bien, pero espero estén muy bien. Let's see, Sandra. How are you, Sandra? I'm fine, teacher. Fine, excellent. Yancy, how are you? Happy. happy. Okay, you are happy. Excellent. And you, how about you, Ivania? I'm okay. Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Um, welcome to this new class, okay? Uh, let's see, vamos a ver, ¿qué estábamos viendo la semana pasada? ¿Alguien que me recuerde? Uh -huh. Do you remember what was um, the last topic? Ok, voy a presentar, creo que no estoy presentando, ok. Uh -huh. Do you remember what was the last topic? Estábamos viendo, vamos a ver por acá. WH word, WH question. We were studying about um, WH questions, right? The simple present or routines, nuestras rutinas. Um, we were studying um, about our habits and roles of the third person, las reglas de la tercera persona. Ok, quiero ver, ¿quién me dice cuál es la regla de la tercera persona en simple present positivo? Que se le agrega S en el verbo. Ok, we add S to the verb, right? Excellent. Agregamos S al verbo. En positivo. Perfect. Um, can someone tell me which is the auxiliary for she, he, and it? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar para she, he, and it? Das. Das. Perfect. Das. And I, you, we, and they, we use do. Excellent. Ok. ¿Qué, uh, ¿Cómo os podría yo decir? Um, yo no cocino todos los días. No. Eh, ok. Ajá, ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Let's see, Sandra. Ajá. I don't cook every day. I don't cook every day. Okay. Let's see. Stephanie, ¿cómo podría decir um, ella no vive con sus padres? Uh, she doesn't uh, live hmm? with parents. With her parents. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect, Stephanie. Um, y se recuerdan cuál era la regla también en negativo si estamos utilizando o queremos decir una oración en negativo, agregamos o no agregamos ese al verbo. No, porque ocupamos el auxilio, el das. Ya, yeah, el das, el auxiliar. Perfect. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Bien, ya, ya trajimos a nuestra mente. 
un poquito acerca de lo que veíamos la semana pasada. Ok, I have a tongue twister for you. Tengo un trabalenguas por aquí. Y dice, I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But if you wish to wish the wish, wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Ok, está un poquito fácil. Sí, vamos, a... yo quiero que ustedes lo practiquen ahí en su, en su casita. Mueva la lengua, mueva es, esos labios, esos dientes. Ok, uh, practice a little bit. Practiquen ahí. Y luego vamos a ver quién es el primer voluntario. Ok. Um, bien, eso sí, esto significa yo deseo desear el deseo que tú deseas para desear. Pero si tú deseas el deseo de la bruja, which es bruja, del deseo que la, des que la bruja desea, eh, yo no desearé el deseo que tú deseas para desear. Ese es el trabalengo, ok? Practice there. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But if you wish to wish the witch wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. One more minute. Take your time, ok? Excelente. Excelente. Ahí veo que están moviendo sus labios. Perfect. Ok. Time is over. <laughs> Let's see. Who wants to be the volunteer? ¿Quién quiere ser el voluntario de esta noche? A ver. Me. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I wish to wish the wish wish. I know. <laughs> let's like... try one more time. Okay. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But if you wish to wish the wish wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Perfect. Give her a clap. Thank you, Vania. Excellent. It was perfect. ¿Alguien más que se quiere enredar la lengua? Me. Perfect. Do it. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But if you wish to wish the wish wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Perfect. You see? You are so good at it. Son muy buenas en esto. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, Just one more volunteer. Solo un voluntario más. Uh, let's see. Maybe Omar Eliseo. What about you? Can you try? Uh -huh. Hello. Hi, Omar Eliseo. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish to wish the wish wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Perfect. Thank you, Omar Eliseo. Uh, muy bien. Bien, estos ejercicios nos ayudan a poder domar un poquito más nuestra lengua. Y poco a poco lo vamos a ir mejorando y vamos a ser más difíciles. Incluso en español es bien, es bien complicado decir un, eh, un trabalenguas. Por, por ejemplo, el de Pablito Calabo, un clavito. ¿Cuál clavito? Clavo Pablito, algo así es. Imagínense. Entonces necesitamos soltar nuestra lengua y eso lo vamos a lograr poco a poco. Ok, perfect Ok, we have here, does it have a view? Ok, vamos a ver eh, algunos vocabularios de las casas. Houses and apartments. We have an audio. Creo que pueden ver mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Están viendo acá. Vocabulary, house and apartments. Right? 
Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Muy bien. Vamos a poner este video y ponga mucha atención. Okay, let's get started. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Okay, just one more time. a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I will like... Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. I want to ask you if you have a question of this vocabulary. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta sobre este vocabulario? Or is completely obvious? Or is that super claro? Okay. Creo que está claro. Let's see. Dining room, el comedor. Living room, eh, la sala de estar. The yard, el patio. Kitchen, you already know it, right? La cocina. Laundry room, es la... La sala donde lava, se podría decir así. Stairs, eh, las escaleras. Bedroom, el, el dormitorio. Closet, es el closet, right? El armario. Eh, hall, es como el pasillo, el corredor. Bedroom, el dormitorio. Bathroom, eh, el baño. And then we have the apartment. Y... Tiene un poco menos que la casa, right? Because um, an apartment doesn't have a yard. Un apartamento no tiene un patio. Um, let's see. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más no tiene el apartment? Que sí tiene la house. Garaje. Uh -huh. Perfect. Perfect. We we don't have a garage here in the apartment. In closet? In closet, maybe we have a uh, yeah, uh -huh. closet. Uh -huh. We have a closet here. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. We have here a conversation. So I want you to please pay attention to the vocabulary and to the pronunciation. Quiero que pongan atención a la pronunciación, al vocabulario, porque luego vamos a tener a una Linda y a un Chris here para practicar la conversación. So, voy a poner el video y escuchemos el vocabulario, right? Perfect. Your apartment building. Here we have.
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, excellent, excellent. We have, um, we have listened to the conversation. So now, do you have a question of this vocabulary? Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de este vocabulario? Al menos una palabra que pueda ser desconocida por el momento para nosotros. Let's see. No. Are you sure? Let's see. Um, yeah, tell me, Stephanie. Es, eh, sí. ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿Qué significa guess? Guess es como adivinar. En este contexto es adivinar. Adivina qué, le dice Linda. Ah, okay. Y también significa um, suponer. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome anytime. That's great. What's it like? Okay, dice, adivina qué. Tengo un, un nuevo apartamento. Qué genial, le dice, o qué grandioso. Eso es grandioso. ¿Cómo es? Le dice Chris. Es realmente hermoso. Es, es, eh, es muy grande, le dice Chris. Bien. Tiene una gran sala, un pequeño dormitorio, un baño y una cocina. Y le dice Chris, ¿dónde es? Le dice On Lake View Drive. Ha de ser como un, un lugar, a Lake View Drive, donde está el apartamento. Chris le dice, oh, nice. Oh, qué bien, oh, qué lindo. ¿Tiene, ¿Tiene vista? Y Linda le dice, sí, sí tiene. Tiene una gran vista a otro a, eh, apartamento, building es... Edificio, a otro apartamento o edificio. Okay, now I want a volunteer to be Linda and Chris. Vamos a practicar esta conversación con otro compañero. Échenle el ojo a alguien que usted diga, yo quiero participar con él o ella. Uh -huh. Let's see, Eliazar. How are you, Eliazar? Are you here? Or not? Yes, teacher. Yes, perfect. Good night. Good night. Can you uh, choose someone else? Can you choose a uh, Linda? <laughs> eh, elija una compañera para que puedan eh, practicar esta conversación. Eh, sí, ahorita. A uh, Ivania. Perfect, Ivania. You're the lucky one. Okay. Let's do it. 
Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. That is right. It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it's a it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where it is? On Lake View Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a new? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, teacher. El micrófono. <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, no me había dado cuenta que lo tenía apagado. Okay, perfect. Bernardino, how are you? Are you the are you here? Yes, I'm here. Perfect. Choose someone else to be your your uh Linda, for you know, example. Okay. Um what Eh, permítame una pregunta. ¿Me escuchan bien? ¿O oh. tengo el, el internet eh, como que se escucha entrecortado? El Lento. Día? Hola, hola. Hola, hola. ¿Me escucha? Eh, sí. Eh, ¿Soy yo la que tiene el, el internet entrecortado? ¿Ustedes me escuchan bien o me escuchan así como lento? Me escucha bien. Sí. No, escucha oh, okay, perfecto. Okay, okay, excellent. Um, yeah, choose someone else, Bernardino. Um, Sandra? Okay. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lowenview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Building. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Bernardino. Um, You're welcome. Okay, perfect. Bien, quiero que se, se fijen en estas preguntas. What's it like? Tenemos WH question here. Luego tenemos is. What is it like? Y le responde, it is really beautiful. It is very beautiful. Luego le pregunta, le, ah, yeah, le pregunta, is it very big? En este caso, nuestra, nuestro auxiliary es is. Am, um, are, and is, right? Este es nuestro um, auxiliar. Entonces, en vez de, como, como es una pregunta, el auxiliar va primero. Luego va el sujeto. Is it very big? Y aquí sí, respondemos con el sujeto. Well, it has a big living room. Ok. Y acá tenemos eh, una, una yes or not question, que es do or does. Remember that? Teníamos dos, um, dos tipos de preguntas. Recuerdan, sería yes or not question que son las que empiezan con do or does y 
las WH questions, que son las que empiezan con las preguntas what, when, um, or what time, right? Okay, so we have here the another part of the of the video. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Okay, per permítanme. Um, voy a cargar la computadora porque ya me está pidiendo cargo. Okay, give me a minute, please. No se escucha. Ok, aquí estoy de nuevo. Regresé, perdón. Fui a cargar la, la computadora. Ok, I'm here. Big living room, a small bedroom, okay. a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers i would like for you to notice the chart on the screen do you live in an apartment yes i do no i don't do the bedrooms have windows yes they do no they don't does chris live in a house yes he does no he doesn't does the house have a yard Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be posited by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying, yes, he does, or negative by saying, no, he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. And make short answers as well. Okay. Short answers. Bien. Um, las las uh, respuestas pequeñas son las que nosotros, por ejemplo, tenemos do aquí. Y tenemos el sujeto you. So, si nos pregunta, do you live in an apartment? Vamos a decir, yes, I do. El error común que cometemos a veces es decir yes, I live ok, or yes um, I have 
pero cuando no, si se, si, eh, si se fijan acá, do the bedrooms have windows? A veces solemos decir, yes, they have. Pero tenemos que responder con el auxiliar. Yes, they do. Ok. Y también decía en el video que cuando tenemos eh, the bedrooms, o sea, en forma, en forma plural, aunque sean eh, cosas, vamos a responder con they. Porque estamos hablando en plural, ellos. Ok. Does, do the bedrooms have windows? Yes. They do. Y luego, ¿alguien me puede decir, ok, um, Chris, ¿por qué utilizamos he? Aquí dice, does Chris live in a house? ¿Por qué decimos, yes, he does? Tiene Chris, oh, perdón, vive Chris en una casa. Ajá, ¿por qué ponemos he y no ponemos they? Porque Chris es él. Chris es él. Easy as that, right? Eh, si en este caso tuviéramos here, let's see, let's imagine, Sofía. Does Sofía live in a house? Ponemos yes, she does. Tenemos eh, Sofía, que es chica, right? She. Ok, excelente. ¿Hay alguna pregunta con respecto a las eh, respuestas cortas? Do you have a question so far? Se puede usar el nombre. Yeah, you can use it. También se puede utilizar. Ok. Bien, vamos a hacer un un ejercicio acerca de eso. Do y acerca de el, el verbo. Ok, do or does in this case. Bien, tenemos Linda, dice, do you live in an apartment? Chris le dice, no. I sería doesn't or don't. I don't. Don't. Or do not. No, I do not. Don't. Perfect. Um, I live. I live. Perfect. I live in a house. Linda dice. It's a yard. Está haciendo una pregunta. Si se fijan, la clave es ver la respuesta. Dice, yes, it's. Is it? Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Cuando does yeah it. does porque cuando tenemos eh, yes or not sí, en yeah. respuesta rem remember es porque vamos a utilizar do or does tenemos dos tipos de preguntas right yes or not question que son las que inician con do or does y las wh question que son las que utilizamos cuando la pregunta inicia con what, what time, eh, when. So, aquí la respuesta nos está dando la, la pista. Yes. Ok. So, we, we write does. ¿Y por qué does? Que alguien me diga por qué does. Porque oh, does se usa it, con it, he, and she. It, he, and she. Ok. Thank you, Bernardino. Porque acá tenemos it. Si aquí tuviéramos we, right? We use do. En este caso utilizamos does porque tenemos she, he, and it. Ok, aquí tenemos it. Does it have? Have. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, it. Does it, does it have a chart? Yes. It does. It does. Aquí es el error que a veces nosotros podemos cometer. Does it have a yard? Entonces, como en español es sí, sí tiene, right? En este caso decimos yes, it does. Estamos dando a entender sí, sí tiene un patio. 
porque le está preguntando si la casa tiene un patio. Yes, it does. Um, that sounds nice. You alone, dice. Tenemos acá el no. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar en la pregunta? Do. Do, right? Do porque tenemos you here. Do you... Live. 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 Do you live... Hi. Do you live alone? No, I... Don't. Live. I don't. Or do not. Esta es nuestra forma de responder corto, right? No, I don't. I with my family. I live with my family. Perfect. Okay, voy a... I live. Let's see. No, I don't. I live with my family. Acá nos, nos pone you, any brothers or sisters. Y dice yes. ¿Qué vamos a poner? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Perfect. Excellent. That's the attitude. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, le dice Chris. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. I have, 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 I or have. have. Excellent. That's the way. I have four sisters. That's a big family, dice Linda. You, a big house. Tenemos acá, yes. Do. Do you? Excellent. Uh, you. Uh, you have. Do perfect. You have. Do you have a big house? Este, Chris, Chris and Linda son bien curiosos, right? Hacen bastantes preguntas ellos. <laughs> yes, we. We do. Yes, we do. Este, respondemos con el auxiliar que nos están eh, preguntando, right? Yes, we do eat ten rooms. Has ten rooms. Has, excellent. Why has? Is she Why? can eat. Okay, excellent. Eh, ¿Y este verbo se le llama? ¿A este verbo se le llama? Let's remember, let's remember. Irregular. Irregular verb. ¿Por qué? Porque con eh, you, we, and they, nosotros utilizamos have. Pero con it, she, and, and, and he, we change the verb. Solo la escritura. Have and has. Con la tercera persona utilizamos has. A ver, alguien que me mencione... Otro verbo re irregular. Do you remember? We have have, the verb have. And we have two more. Or varios, pero es, eh, estudiamos dos más. Go. Que le agregamos I en S. Ok, cambia la escritura. Go, have, and I don't remember the next. Sorry. Pass, does, it goes. goes. Yeah, does, right? Do, and she does. Ok, excellent. Tenemos, tenemos tres verbos irregulares que ya estudiamos. Have, do, and go. Perfect. La pregunta de examen. <laughs> ok, excellent. Let's see. Um, ten rooms eat many bedrooms. Does it? Excellent. Does it? 
what? Yeah. Oh. Does it have? Perfect. Usamos have, ¿por qué? Si tenemos tercera persona aquí. Let's remember. ¿Por qué usted, um, le voy a preguntar? Let's see. Eliazar. Eliazar. Y con she, he, and it, sabemos que el verbo cambia. ¿Por qué aquí tenemos it y el verbo no ha cambiado a has? Why? Este... Me imagino. Ay, no le logro escuchar bien el. Eh, como it va en tercera persona. Ok. Pero... Ay, no le logro escuchar bien el Yasser. Ok, pero tenemos el auxiliar acá. Por eso no utiliz no, no le cambiamos a has el verbo. ¿Ok? Se queda normalito así porque tenemos das. Ya con eso estamos explicando que eh, estamos utilizando la tercera persona. Ok. Yes. Does it have many bedrooms? Yes. It. Yes. Das. Perfect. Thank you. It four. Has. It has four. Linda dice, you, your own bedroom. Do. Do. Do and what? Have. Do you have your own bedroom? Excellent. And now the last, the last one says, yes, I do. do. Yes, I do. Perfect. Luego dice que leamos la conversación de nuevo y podamos responder estas preguntas for no answers, give the correct information. Okay, dice, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. This is I live with my family. I don't live alone. Do you have any brothers or sisters, Chris? Yes, Linda, I do. I have four sisters. That's a big family. Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. It has 10 rooms. 10 rooms? Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. This is Chris. Okay. Does Chris live, live in an apartment? No, he doesn't, right? He lives in a house. Okay, does Chris' house have a yard? ¿Tiene la casa de Chris un patio? Let's remember of the reading. Yes. Yes, it what? It does. Perfect. Yes, it does. Um, does Chris live alone? Fatima Lopez. Hey, how are you, Fatima? Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay. Um, answer this, this question. Does Chris live alone? Remember the reading? No. No. He... And what which when which one is the auxiliary? Mm -hmm. 
No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Él vive con su familia. Él no vive solo. Okay, does he have four brothers? Remember? ¿Será que tiene hermanos o hermanas? Do you have any brothers or sisters? ¿Cómo responderíamos? Does he have four brothers? Yes, she, he does. Or no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Perfect. No. Thank you. Excellent. Does he have his own room? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Yes. Yes. Yes, he does. Él tiene su propio dormitorio. Yes, he does. Okay, do you have a question so far? Okay. Teacher, una uh -huh. pregunta. Donde dice, do you have your own bedroom? La palabra own, own, ¿qué significa? Significa propio. propio. Okay. Thank you. Tienes, ok, you're welcome. Tenis, ¿Tienes tu propio cuarto, se podría decir, o tu propia habitación? Ok, excellent. We don't have a question so far. Ok. Excellent. We have here furniture. Furniture. Vamos a darnos cuenta de lo que significa furniture here in a video. Let's do it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures. Clock. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Lamps. Sofa. Desk. Bookcase. Dresser. Chairs. Mirror. Rug. Television. Other vocabulary that is. Okay, one more time, but we have to repeat this time. Okay, voy a ir pausando el video y ustedes repiten. Okay, let's see. Stove. Okay, give me And repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Mm -hmm. Armchairs. Perfect. Stove. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent. Curtains. Curtains. Pictures. 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 Clock. 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 Close. Close. Excellent. Well Close. done. Uh -huh. Bed. 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 Table. Coffee table. 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 Coffee table. Coffee table. Perfect. Microwave oven. 
Microwave. Refrigerator. Microwave. Refrigerator. Perfect. Lamps. 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 Sofa. Sofa. practice using the vocabulary that making statements about your kitchen oh, yeah, for example my lip has a sofa okay it's your time to practice es nuestro tiempo de practicar okay vamos a ver voy a hacer a un ladito acá este y yo quiero que practiquemos las preguntas con do and does okay does your house house have a bed? ¿Cómo responderíamos does your house have a bed? Yes, it does. That's yes, perfect. Okay, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes. It does. It I it Porque house is singular. So it is it. Okay. Okay. Do, do your houses have a yard? Tus casas tienen un patio? Yes. Yes, they do. Excellent. Yes, they do. They, porque estamos, estamos usando plural. So, it's they. Yes, they do. Y si quiero poner no, ¿qué, que no tienen? No, they don't. No, they do not or they don't. They don't. Okay. Um, hmm. Does your bedroom have? A bookcase. Let's see. Vaya, voy a hacer la pregunta a Omar Eliseo. ¿Cómo responderíamos? Does your bedroom have a bookcase? Bedroom. Ajá. Si sí, queremos decir o dar una respuesta eh, positiva. ¿Cómo sería? Yes, yes, I do. Remember? Yes. Y ponemos, estamos hablando de nuestro bedroom, de nuestro dormitorio. Sería, she, he, it, they, o cuál sería? Okay, does your bedroom, tu dormitorio, tiene eh, librera? So, ¿nuestro dormitorio es singular o es plural? Es singular. Es singular. So, utilizamos it. Yes, it does. Remember, we don't use yes, it have. Or it has, right? Yes, it does. Y si lo quiero poner en forma negativa, ¿cómo sería? 
No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Or does not. Perfect. The last one. Um, do you have a television? Television. ¿Cómo responderíamos en manera positiva? Yes, I do. Yes, I Excellent. Do. Yes, I do. ¿Y de forma negativa? No, I don't. No, I do not or don't. Perfect. You see, it's very simple, very easy. Hay una eh, pregunta hasta acá. Vamos a ver, a ver, a ver. No hay pregunta. Ok. Bien, vamos a ver. Dice, which rooms have the things in part A? Complete the chart. Bien, ¿qué van en la cocina? Ya tenemos table, stove. ¿Qué más va en la cocina? Microwave El... oven. Ok, excellent. The microwave oven. ¿Qué más? Refrigerator. Ok. Refrigerator. ¿Qué más podría ir en la cocina? Here is missing one thing. Aquí está faltando una cosa. Chairs. Cheers. Excellent. Cheers. Bien. Ahora, de, de, la, de los dibujos, que va en, eh, en el comedor? Bien, en el comedor también podrían ir. Right? Uh -huh. We already have table. ¿Qué más? Pinture. Okay. Yeah, we can we can uh, have pictures here, right? Pictures. Chairs. Chairs. Uy. Let's see. Cheers. Clock. A clock, right? Excellent. Clock. El comedor, ¿qué más? Solo eso, right? Yeah, I think we have all there. In the living room. Ajá, ¿qué, más? ¿Qué podríamos poner in the living room? Let's see. Uh, so uh, what? Uh, sofa. Uh, what? Sofa. Sofa. Television. Room. Okay. TV. Pictures. Pictures. Uh -huh. Hi, yes. Excel. Room. Um, Brog, excellent. Chairs. Chairs, yeah. yeah, we can have chairs there. Bookcase, what about that? The bookcase, right? We sometimes have the bookcase in their living room. ¿Qué más? The coffee table. Armchairs, perfect. Armchairs. And the coffee table. Some people have a coffee table there. Okay, in the bedroom. What can we have in the bedroom? Bed, perfect, obviously, right? Excellent, perfect. Lamps, we can have a lamps there. Mirror. Mirror, of course, right? Curtains, no. Yeah, yes. of course. Curtains. Dresser. Dresser, right? Uh-huh. And that's it, right? Okay, in the kitchen, in the kitchen we can have a stove, una cocina. Oven, oh, stove. I don't stove. I know, lo borre. Okay, let's see. 
Okay. Stove. Stove here. Okay, perfect. We have microwave, oven, refrigerator, chairs. Okay, aquí me comí la aire. Here. Teacher. Tell me. The desk. The desk we can have where? Maybe in the living room or no, in the bedroom, right? We can also have a desk here, there. Okay. There we have furniture. Bien, furniture significa muebles. La palabra furniture significa muebles. Cuando yo les pregunte, denme tres ejemplos de furniture. A ver si alguien se recuerda. Tres ejemplos de furniture. La cuenta de tres. Sofá. Ajá. Um, chair. TV. Chair. Mm -hmm. Desk. Desk, TV, ok. What else? TV. Armchairs. Pictures, armchairs. Perfect. Thank you. You already know that we can right? Ok. Bien. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá de lo que hemos visto? ¿No? Muy bien. No se pierdan la clase del día de mañana porque vamos a estar viendo There is and there are. ¿Ok? Some interesting um, topics here. Ok, perfect. If there... No tenemos una pregunta. There. Esto es todo por hoy. I hope you rest a lot and don't forget to study. Bye-bye. See you, see you, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Rest a lot.